Hello, hello, everyone. I'm Nila from a core industry sensor brand. Today, I will say something about uh, photoelectric sensors with you by this video. Photoelectric electric sensors can be developed into diffuse reflection, 3D reflection, and retro reflection according to their operation principles. For diffuse reflection, to detect the objects, light from the emitters will be reflected back to the receivers when it passed by the object. For through beam reflection, the receiver and the emitter are fixed on the same axis. If the object gets into the optic axis and blocks light, the receiver will make adjustment that there is an object when it gets no light at all. For retro reflection, the presence or absence of objects is determined by whether the light is totally retained from the reflector. According to the housing, it can be divided into cylindrical type, square type, ultra-third type, and flat type. According to special applications, it can be divided into TOF type, ionic type, and glare type, background suppression type, transparent object detection type color and uh, mark detection type, f 6 k type. There are so many types. So how do we make a quick selection? Next, I will share with you. It only takes four steps. To confirm the characteristic of object, there are four aspects. One is for color, to check the reflectivity, and whether the color is gradient. The second is the size, to check the object whether it shakes or mold into a wrong place. The third is the shape, to check the shape whether teeth or tears. The last one is glossiness, to detect whether the detecting surface is shiny or not. When the distance between the de de detection object and the background is short, there may be a small difference in the reflected light. This is time to consider the use of the through-beam to reflection type or background suppression type sensors. For colors, we need to check whether there is a large difference between background color and the object color. For example, when the object is black, where the background is white, the reflected light may be the same. So we need to use the background suppression type. Is the background surface most a lot? Where the detecting surface limit ambient light that affects the same? The second, confirm the detecting type. The difference and amount of light received between the two different states of with object on and without object off can be maximized by choosing which detection types of sensors. To detect the stability ranking, there are four rankings. The first is the through beam type. The second is retro reflection type. The third is background suppression type. The fourth is diffuse reflection type. How to consider the, confirm the best detection type? The best type of detection is identified to maximize the difference in the amount of light received between on and off status. For example, if a fiber optic sensor is used to detect a tiny object, 100% of the light can be brought and 100 of the light passes through when there is no object. In this case, the difference in the amount of light received is the maximum. The third, to check the moving speed of the detected objects. To check whether the response time of the sensor can meet the application a lot. The fourth, confirm surrounding environment factors. Check whether the amount temperature is uh, weather 
uh, invasive sensor parameters, where all your dust and other factors block the sensor's lens. Where the power supply noisy interferes the performance. For example, the in inverter work interference and so on. There are some classic applications, for example, to detect labors with various colors and object. And sometimes we need to distinguish the colors in quite small difference. In this case, the color and mark sensors can be applied. For instance, when there is a large color difference between background and object, it would be better for us to choose these as photoelectric sensors to ensure the stable detection. For industrial production, photoelectric sensors are mainly used to detect the presence of materials in order to guarantee the normal operation of production. For laser industry, photoelectric sensors can be used to detect laser battery loading and check whether the battery and power piece are in place or not. For food, pharmacy, and packaging industries, photoelectric sensors are used for positioning of colors, coding, unpacking films, correction detection of transparent films, and coding of food or pharmaceutical products. For FPT and photovoltaic industry, Photoelectric sensors are applied in sensing wafers, detecting the placement of products and liquid level in transparent tubs for some conductor industry. Photoelectric sensors are used for detecting the presence of various components on the circuit board and ensure the PCB board in place a lot for car and machinery industries. Photoelectric sensors are used for checking whether the car components are in place or not in automotive assembly line and detecting the position of cars in 3D packing garage. For logistics and distribution industry, photoelectric sensors are used for detecting items on roller, conveyor, and ensuring the correct position of goods in logistics racks. Photoelectric detecting has the advantage of high accuracy, fast response, long contact, and so on in recent years. With development of photoelectric technology, photoelectric sensors have become a lot of surveys or products and the varieties and production are increasing day by day. Also, they are widely used in various automation machines. For light industries, users can choose various specifications sensors according to their needs. If you need any assistance in selection for your applications, welcome to contact us.